Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Again, apologies for a scratchy throat. Last time out, we, we were doing this. We, we did this. We uh, retired this train over right over here. The fantastic New York Central. And we retired this train over here. Our trusty Can-Am Express. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is a couple of things. First of all, I want to ensure that these have replacements on the trains, which would be very helpful. I just, I was just looking at this. Is it possible, and I don't know whether this is possible, to replace just a single train on its own? I'm just not sure. I don't think so, but given that the other trains didn't replace them, we just replaced one train, it would be really helpful. It could uh, save us a lot on the on the uh what do you call it i can't even remember what it's called oh uh, yeah but it will save us a lot uh, also i just realized this train's 110 years old we can actually work out when this tr when this line started if we go back 110 years it's 1961 this line started in 1961 there you go we've done it we we've found our we've found the year this tra this train was running, it was 1961. There you go. Sorted. So does that is does that mean I'll know what year this one was? Oh no, I've already got that. Not 1961. What am I talking about? 1861. Well done, brain. Um. There you go. 1961. Idiot. Right. How about this one then? 54 years. This one's been running 54 years. No, that's when it was retired. Oh, no, that's that's no good. Yeah, so that's not going to help me. And then this one, I know what it is, 1890. So, yeah, I just need to know what this one is. Anyway, let's uh, quickly go ahead and get these trains replaced. Automatic replacement for this one is on. It looks a little worse for wear, to be completely honest. I'm not entirely sure why does look a little worse for wear. Now is that because it only replaces every time it goes to a station? And if so, that's a little bit concerning. Because then these are, none of these are going to be replacing themselves on the line. Which is uh, very concerning. So we may have to do something about that. We may have to uh, we may have to sort out something on that. Yeah. Maybe I should turn this into a station. Pull all these trains out of here. Turn it into a big station. Just have them go up and down to the station. I don't know. Anyway. Um, right. Going, nope. Why did I get rid of that? Going back to this. We had the new trains go out for a, go out for a run. There you go. There's one of them. Doesn't that look nice? New York Central. All in grey. Everything's happening. Everything is happening with this train. We've got the steam engine, the big boy, running along as was requested. You see some food, but mostly not going there. Uh, then we've got the new uh, Can-Am trains. There you go. I'm not all too keen on these. We are going to be looking to replace them fairly soon. So we'll see what happens there. And there's the old Can-Am train, which is actually being replaced. That's why I've got it in 1970. Those are already being Replace. Now we've got some food that's got to be going out and about over here. So what we're going to be doing is the first thing I want to do is where's that train? Just to double check. It's pulling out of here, isn't it? Let's bring this train up because I'm going to double the capacity of this train. The reason being is that look over here. Right now there's already a full load's worth waiting to be taken. So if that needs to be taken along, we can actually double the this and just get it churning out as much as it can as quickly as possible and that's going to be pretty important and then we, we've also got a, um, what do you call it we've got we've got to get something to Philadelphia we've really got to get we've got farms in we've got farms down here I suppose we could just go straight from the farm straight to there and that that could help our supply as well so we're going to we're going to probably set that up today as well but let's get this train going so it is a 
Now I'm actually going to use the same locomotive but a different different color. And I'm actually going to be using the uh I'm gonna be using the Erie one right here. Can't really change the color, can we? No. I'm going to be using Erie one. Someone did say to use two double header. Uh no need on these. They're doing fine. 79 miles an hour, they're doing absolutely fine with the with the current um load that they're carrying, the current consist. So that's not something I'm looking to do just yet. Good idea, but not something I need to do. I have done it before on I think I had it on the coal run. I had a double header steam train when we really needed to pull pull the steam. Uh but anyway. Let's see, what do we have here? We've got box cars, box cars, box cars. Yeah, we've just got basically box cars. Um, CP is Canadian Pacific. I know it's. Um, but that's okay. Right, let's run. Du -du -du. I tell you what, because Penn, Penn Central now exists, so let's now run Penn Central. Why not? Let's say suddenly we've got some pen centrals going along. Some of these uh, will have how many? How many do we have in total? Four, six, uh, nine, eleven, twelve, eighteen, twenty of them. Twenty of them and seventeen of them. Did I count that right? Hold on. Uh, nine, eleven, twelve. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't know why, it's got really confused for a second, like, did I count that right? Probably because the way in which I was pointing was not the way in which I was adding up, so that's that's what's confused me. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of those currently. Let me just double check. Um, that is 14 of those, good. 15, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20. There you go. It's not. This is not as big a mixed consist as that one. This is a much more refined consist. Uh, and then we're going to go with the state cars, if we can find them. The Pennsylvania Railroad 50, 50 foot flat cars. Uh, and we're going to load up how many of those? Yeah, I like this one. Thanks to recent advances in the field of bolting wooden plank steel beams, the PIRs. PIRs? No, PRRs. Um, Altoona shops have created this revolutionary flats car, which can carry any product imaginable. Asterisk. Except logs, which will roll off. Research is still in progress. I like that. That's good comedy. Whoever whoever the mod author was for this, well done. Well done on that. And we will have another 17 of those. Fantastic. Right. And that can happily get underway on the on the freight route for that off you trot right so that's now out and ready to go there it is look at that ready to go complete with the bogey moving forward in an incredibly weird fashion should just wait for these two there you go Hey, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Penn Central. Very nice. That does look very nice, that does. And we've got everything around this area. We've got the one near the lake. There's Erie. Um, which one's Erie again? I keep getting these wrong. This is Erie. There you go. There's Lake Erie. You've got Lake Erie. You've got the... We're on the... New York Central route, so we've got the New York, so we've got the Penn Central, we've got the New York Central, or, yeah, and we've got the other one. There goes a Can-Am, shooting off at 70 miles per hour, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic, look at the speed that one's doing. That's really going to help, that is really, really going to help progress here. Yeah, that's I'm I'm happy about that. There you go, and this one can pick up whatever it needs to pick up. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're really focusing on freight in this video, is we've got this right here. We've got this freight airport here. We're going to be starting to use planes a little bit more. We've got 
Obviously, we need somewhere to make the Philadelphia cheesesteak. Um, that is if it's actually made in Philadelphia. I'd be a little bit concerned if it wasn't. I feel like just sticking it, ah, sticking it right here, the factory, would be quite nice. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's find a, a food factory. Not a farm. Not an oil refinery. No, no. No, we're not going to touch the export. Not a goods factory. Not a steel mill. Not a rocket factory. We're going to do something with rockets. I mean, it is 1971. I feel like doing something with rockets is going to be amazing. Uh, what is it? Food processing plant. That's it. Right, how is this going to fit? Unable to align terrain. Alright, well, what if I just put it in like, uh, like so? How's that? There you go. That looks good to me. That looks very good to me. Okay. And then we can stick a... Let's actually pause this. We'll stick a large truck station. Stick a large truck station there. Yeah, if we if we were to demolish that bit of road, we can stick a large station truck station in right there. And hopefully expand that to a second platform. We're not going to get three, are we? No, we're going to get two out of it. That looks good enough to me. That looks fairly fairly decent uh, trucks will go around there around there that looks good uh, from there down there then we can actually get some food going into here right okay so what I need to do is we've got uh, this is not supposed to be a passenger station passenger no this is a freight airport isn't it um hold on was that not a freight airport Let's see what. Oh, they both have pass. Okay, they both have passenger icons. That's fine. I, I got a little con confused there because I'm like, was that not a freight airport? Was that not meant to be handling freight? But I can't can't quite tell the difference apart from the fact that it's got trees everywhere. It just looks a bit awkward, really. Oh no, there you go. That tells me it's freight. I can just upgrade that. There you go. I don't know why there's trees everywhere. I'll get rid of all these little trees. But uh, I can't. Oh, I can get rid of individual trees. I'm not doing this the whole time. Oh, apparently I am now. I've got to be really careful not to delete the airport. See, like that. Don't, don't do that. No, I said don't do that. All right, well we've got two of the two of the stands cleared. Get the third stand cleared? Why not? Get the third stand cleared. We'll get the road cleared. There you go. That's clear. That looks fine to me. I think we need to clear up the dep uh, the maintenance hangar. So we'll just clear that area there. I wonder why I did that. There we go. And we'll clear the entrance road in. The windsock can be clear. The windsock needs to be clear. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. That will, I think that will do. The runway is clear. The, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. So, I am thinking that we place a medium street along this area, like so, which pretty soon will turn into a medium country road. Mm, now, the question is, how do I want this medium country road to connect? I'd rather it uh, didn't connect in very stupid ways. That's that's the that's the big issue. I'd rather not have it connect in a really silly fashion. But I need it to connect in a in a fashion that's going to be uh, that'll do. 
I mean, there are roads that, that connect like that. I know that. So that will do. And, uh... That will do. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, that looks fine. So now we've got that connected with a small connection there. All right, and we will stick a uh, truck station. Now, perhaps giving it a bit more space for a truck station would have been a good idea. But that's okay. We're going to stick the truck station on this side now. No, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to take this back. And we're going to take this back, actually. We're going to fit the truck station in first. There you go. Now, I want the truck station to be... I feel like that way is a good way to put the truck station. And we're going to have all the platforms... Um, all the terminals available. There you go, all the platforms done. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to have the small country road medium country road that is go around like so so we're going to have it swing in very gently sharp turn straight along there like so turn that into a medium street like that and like oh zip it you can fit in there all right well just because it is being a pain and i don't have time for it to be too much of a pain we're actually going to connect it we connect it like that it's not perfectly straight this slight angle is annoying me but you know what it, it will have to do we'll cover it with we'll treat with more trees and rocks and stuff there you go so that's that Okay, now we're probably going to need another small one right here. Let's get a, let's get a small country, not small street, small country road. Uh, that one. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. And that can connect up to this side, I suppose. You don't want to get cut through the farms too much, so we're going to do that. And uh, oh, okay, I'm, I didn't mean I didn't mean to press the tick on that. I meant to press the cross, but that's okay. That's okay. That will do. Then we can go for a small truck station. Uh, let's go for a large truck station just for fancy, fancy pants' sake. There we go. Right. So that's now going to go into there. Then that's going to go to there. Probably going to need some more stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to work out exactly what I want to do with this. Um, and the, the honest the honest thought process here is I'm not entirely sure. Let's start with potentially just that to there. And then that's probably... Well, that's not going to supply much, is it? But it can... There's a, fr that's a passenger station. We had, did we not have a freight? St the freight station's out on this side, and that freight station then has to connect up to that one, and then that one's the one that handles everything. Um, okay, okay. Where and what is? Okay, let me think. If I place a couple of drop-off points, say there. And, oh, hang on. No, 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 wait. We still have shuttles running through here, don't we? There's the Philadelphia shuttle. We could literally just add this to the shuttle. Because these things take everything, don't they? I want to find out what they take. Um, that's not what I meant to... No, okay. Click on the vehicle. No, uh, that, that. There we go. What do you take? No, you only carry fuels. Right. Uh, I think it's about time we swapped you out for... No, no, I don't want to do that. 
let me know in the comments box what do you think is a good idea for for this um, naturally let me set up one route that's going to be from there to here that route there there you go it's easier to see and that is the uh, now what do we call this I suppose this just is a freight route which is a uh, let's see Philly farming there you go is a Philly a horse a type of horse it's spelled with an F of course I'm sure that's a type of horse anyway I don't know. I don't know much about horses. Okay, so that's all the freight done on that side. Let's see how this pans out. So this one's just left with a full, full load. There you go, that's just left with a full load. As you can see, it does pick up speed at a decent rate for a freight train. So I'm happy about that. It's already doing 18, 19, 20 miles per hour. So I'm, I'm happy about the, the the speed that it runs that, that at. Uh, these are stuck in traffic for a reason that is not good. I feel like I should run these freight routes around the side now. I do feel like I should run these freight routes around the side. It's just too long. They are just way too long. I feel like they just are way, way too long. But I mean, they, the trains do run past. I mean, look at that. They are running past. So it's not, it's not an issue of no train gets to go. The trains certainly get to go. It's just that there, there does tend to be a traffic buildup. And that's something that I need to try and address. Look at these, look at all these trains. Fantastic. They are carrying, they are carrying a fair, fair amount on them. Now see, if we were to creep that forward to there, it might be better for us. Aha! The CSX. That's some we could use. That's a uh, central, Southern Pacific. Illinois Central. I don't know what Chessy is. Huh. We'll have to have a look. We are in 1972, so we're getting there. We're certainly getting there. There's a lot that needs to happen now. So we've got this train. This train is causing a headache. That's for sure. Uh, in the meantime, this train's already left. It has as well. Uh, I'd rather you go back. Yeah, go back. Go back and, and get some more. Get some more stuff. Go on. That looks pretty good. Um, because then at least this is going to keep moving. Yeah, see, this this is a this is a problem. I could just route it out around the back end of these depots or around this side. I wonder how this route's running. I think this place is doing fantastic. Oh, dear. I say that as everything comes to a grinding halt. Why did that... I feel like it's just a bit of traffic. But this in general, this is doing fantastic. Look, the New York Central gets to pick the middle route, I think. There you go. Gives it priority. As it stops. What are you stopping for? I don't understand. Oh, there's a train stuck there which is causing issues and... Oh... Okay, so it's not running perfect, but it's running it's running better than it was. So that's a that's a good sign for it being running better than it was. Uh, da, da, da. Everything else is running quite nicely. I love this this setup. I mean, I know it took what two and a half episodes or something. It took two and a half episodes, two or two and a half episodes, but it is a fantastic setup in my opinion. Um, that train is now leaving with a lot more on board. That's a good sign. 
This train. These are just a. Right, where's the train that? There it is. There's another train. Yes, another train. So that's what we've really focused on today is getting these things up and running. And look at that. The speeds are good for this. I mean, you see these trains coming up, passing. This, this one's doing almost 80 miles per hour. This one's doing 35 miles per hour. That's the sort of stuff that you expect. Kind of want to pause it there and uh, get a good screenshot there. That can be the thumbnail, I think. Because that's what we did in this video. Perfect. Right. Uh, bring that back. I think that's I think that's running quite nicely. That's running very nicely. Yeah, maybe maybe I do need to speed that up a little bit. 36 miles per hour isn't all too great. Um, I may I may go ahead and add another. I was kind of hoping for 50 out of it, but you know what? 36 is still not bad. I mean, given that there are two trains. So where's the second one? There's the second one. Given there are two trains, that's going to be a big thing for us. That's definitely a big thing. There's a lot of traffic here. Who are you waiting for? You're waiting for that? Yes. So who are you waiting for? Well, you're not waiting anymore. Surely you won't... Oh, you were waiting for that to leave the station. Yeah, we need to put station... We need to put station approaches here. Um, right. It's probably a really good idea to put a station approach. Let's have a quick peek. To end this episode off, let's put station approaches in. Yeah, it's just because of uh, these two. These two trains right here. So we're actually going to put dwarf signals in there and there. Yep. Hoot to you two. So these trains aren't carrying too much. This train is carrying uh, okay amount. This train isn't carrying too much. He's going to stop, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to let this train go through. Just look at this, though. He's not going to let that train through. Aha! That's how I wanted it. I think that's a good place to end. That's definitely a good place to end. Not with that angle. Maybe with that angle. Right, okay, that makes... that's... yeah, that's working out for me. That... I'm happy with that. Uh, so that's where I will end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We've got a little bit to go. We still have a little bit to go as this train starts moving. Uh, like I said, let me know about the whole Philadelphia or Pennsylvania area with the with the food. How should I run that? Let me know in the comments box. And do support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget, or you will find that um, in the description box below. And when you do so, then you, you get some exclusive access to the Discord lounge, no matter what uh, you contribute, or if you are giving $5 or more a month, then you do get access to the hidden Patreon servers, uh, which is where all the all the talk happens, all the big talk, all the fancy talk happens in that area. Anyway, I think that's that's pretty much it. That be pretty much it for me. That does look good. I have to admit, that does look good. As much as that is a bit of a mess in the traffic system, Particularly as there are two of these now in a row. But even though that is a bit of a mess in the traffic system, it does look good. And I'm sure we'll figure out a better system pretty soon on that. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, that's that's got a lot of passengers on board. That has definitely got a lot of passengers on board. But uh, yeah, I think I'll see you guys next time in Transport Fever. I'm just thinking, is there anything else I need to quickly do? I don't think so. These guys are going to be swamped. Maybe that's our next task. We'll sort that out. I'll see you guys then.